Hi everyone, I'm uh, Nate Temple. I'm a production artist for EverQuest 2. And this is the concept of the raptor mount that I made for EverQuest 2. This is the evil raptor, actually. Uh, what I do at EverQuest is basically the concepts of uh, creatures and characters and things. And I also do uh, a model armor set for players and NPCs. I also work on the uh, uh, UI and I create a lot of the icons and a lot of the windows and I work with the programmers and do that stuff. Uh, here we're working on basically just the, uh, the flats or the rendering of the, uh, the gray scale of the image. Basically this is just a rendering process to get the whole uh, creature fleshed out to give it a more of a lifelike look but because it's black and white it still looks kind of sterile. Uh, the color comes later though. What I'm going to do is after I put in the armor and all that stuff and all the armor and everything is all fleshed out, I'll eventually go in and then begin to color it. The armor was several iterations. Uh, this is the final version that you're seeing that I'm sketching in, but before I'd gone through and sketched a whole bunch of different other types. And This is the type I felt that was more aggressive looking, felt it conveyed the best parts of like an evil uh, creature that would wear uh, armor that would denote its personality too with a lot of the sharp edges and things like that. And so that's why I went with this kind of uh, design. When I worked on uh, these neck pieces, basically I just cloned those pieces. Um, it's good in a production environment when you don't have a whole lot of time to do a lot of things. And so you basically get a lot of pieces for free for the time it only takes you to do one. And that's a really good production trick. The armor is usually, uh, sometimes it can be fun, sometimes it's kind of pain in the butt. Uh, because you have to render a lot of things and you know, it has to conform to anatomy. And it can be kind of a pain, but in other times it can be really fun. And in this one, I found that it can, uh, it was pretty enjoyable because the forms really melded with the character. And there wasn't a whole lot of fighting with it. And it was cool. It was a good experience. With uh, broad shapes like the top of the helmet and stuff like I'm working on in there, you want to really put in like. Uh, designs or something, holes, whatever have you, that will help give more variety and more complexity to the armor. Because if you just have big, broad shapes, uh, the armor can, while it looks interesting, it's not interesting enough because there's this, the, those broad shapes are a canvas in and of themselves, and you can put designs in, uh, you can put in more detail, you can put like filigree in, or, you know, a lot of things. And so keep that in mind when you're, when you're working on stuff like this. And here's where I'm just rendering in the actual color. Uh, at first I've got, I put a flat shade in, in the bottom underneath in a layer below the, uh, the grayscale. And I put the grayscale on multiply and it gives you this kind of variety and value, but it's not really lifelike yet. So what I do is I'd make another layer above all of those layers. And then I actually start painting in the actual palette where you get a lot of the hot tones and the cool tones and complementary colors. And you really try to are basically trying to harmonize the image into something that looks appealing and looks interesting. And here you can see that it's got infinitely more life to it than it did when it was just black and white. Here's some more uh, cloning I did with uh, the backpack. Uh, I took this, actually it's more of a satchel, but I took this bag and when I was done rendering it, I copied it there just like that. And so it takes up more space because that hip plate of armor was really broad. It had a lot of open space on it. And like an empty canvas, it needed something there to cover it. And here I'm just painting in just some, you know, archaic runes and things that makes it look very magical. Or maybe it's just, I don't know, bad language to taunt their enemies. Who knows? I just put it there to make it look interesting and to kind of give the creature a little bit more attitude. And it also fills up those little, big broad spaces on the armor. And here I made a little primitive little skull face. Or, no, oh, ha, it's a claw now. I guess I changed my mind. But that's it, that's the, the finished concept of the Raptor, and there's the model version that was modeled by uh, Chris Atkins. 
And there it is, alive. In, in the game. Sony.